Hello, it is Candy, and I am once again getting the rare opportunity to do an update on the actual day that I change weeks. I am 37 weeks today. 37 weeks, in case I don't know anyone doesn't know this. The like well, most people who watch these pregnancy things do know, but 37 weeks is considered full term. So this baby cooking inside my belly is a full on newborn he should be able to he should have total uh, control over his lungs now and they should be fully formed um, and everything should be pretty much as it will be when he is born they do say that it is a little bit better for babies to cook a little longer so they like for them to be 39 weeks preferably just because when a baby's 39 weeks it's you know, they know everything's, you know, it won't have to spend any time in the NICU and everything is pretty much fully functioning. Um, but that said, uh, you know, if he wants to come a little early and he feels ready and it's all natural and, um, you know, he, his body feels ready and he, he's developed enough because I think, you know, most babies, not all babies, but most babies that come early, come early because they're ready or because, you know, the body is ready. I guess it's not really the baby's conscious choice, um, then I'd be happy with that. I'd be fine. I'd love to meet him. Um, I think my husband would be a little disappointed because he's got some bike races coming up and he would th maybe presumably have to miss those. I don't know. Maybe he could just go. <laughs> um, I certainly wouldn't mind if he went, but I, I say that now, but we'll see. We'll see how the whole experience is. is this is my first baby. I just don't know. So, um, that was really, really, this, this is a huge milestone for me and I feel great because now I feel like if he comes, it's going to be just fine. You know, if he wants to come, if, if I go into labor, it's going to be just fine. And he has been just sliding around in there, particularly, I don't know what it is about these weak transitions. I don't know if it's maybe because I charted, so my my due date is very accurate and I'm very much like reaching milestones on the day of but the evening prior to my changeover from week from one week to a new week I seem to notice a lot of big milestones happening in terms of how I'm feeling and and he just I feel like he might have dropped a little bit and I'll do a bump shot so that you can see what you think but I think he might have dropped just a tiny bit but um, enough so that I feel a little bit more room up in my in my uh, chest area and just below just below my breasts I feel a little bit more room and he just feels a lot bigger again somehow and a lot stronger and he's just been moving and shifting and you know all all morning at my yoga class he was moving I went to yoga today and it was really kind of exciting because when I first went there I was always you know one of the you know one of the, the one of the newer ones so one of the not quite as far along as everyone else or what have you and this class I was the second to farthest along I'm 37 weeks and there was a girl that was 38 going on 39 weeks there but besides her there was just me and we were the two you know we were the two full termers and it was kind of nice to be the one of the full termers hearing people's birth stories and you know so long being in the middle or one of the earlier along so I feel like my turn's coming my turn is coming it's on its way we'll see if it you know wants to come earlier I am um, I got some red raspberry leaf tea and I got some evening primrose oil because I feel like those are things that I've heard are safe to take in moderation when the baby is full term so I'm gonna you know play around with those things but and I'm just continuing my walks, but I'm not going to do anything drastic. I just don't plan on doing any castor oil, which scares me because the meconium that, you know, babies can pass sometimes and you just get really sick and I've just heard it's really bad. And I don't plan on doing anything in that kind of extreme range unless my doctor suggests it. Or, and I, I doubt she will. She's She's pretty, you know... She, she, she likes to keep things on the natural side. In fact, she won't even check me until 38 weeks to see if I'm dilating or see if I'm if, how faced I am. So I have to wait until 38 weeks to see what's going on there. And so will you. But that's okay. It's uh, the, This Wednesday will be my 37 
and a half week appointment, I guess. And then my 38 and a week half, uh, uh, and a half week appointment will be the Wednesday after that, and that's when I'll start seeing what's going on, seeing if there's any progress. From what I hear, it doesn't necessarily make a big difference, you know? So you could be however faced and however, you know, I don't know, 50% effaced and two centimeters dilated for three weeks or four weeks. So it's kind of, you know, there are, unless you're like four or five centimeters and you're having contractions and you're having certain kinds of things, then it, I mean, you can even lose your mucus plug and it can regenerate, I've heard, which is like crazy. So I guess it's not as, you know, cut and dried, but it's still, I think it would be nice if there was some progress, but if there's no progress, it can happen supposedly kind of overnight, so or kind of, you know, just right then and there. So if that happens, that's great. I did a maternity photo shoot with my husband yesterday. He was very graciously took some photographs of me and I want to show you some of them. I don't have that kind of, you know, some people I know they have all the editing, the editing programs and they can splice in the pictures and make it all look great. I don't have that talent, unfortunately. So what's what I'm gonna do is just show you on my computer a few of the shots that my husband took. I think they're really beautiful. Excuse me, all modesty aside, um, I think that they turned out really great. And when I say all modesty aside, I mean I haven't been feeling exactly. I feel pretty pretty chubby, like a, you know, like I've been very chubby in my pregnancy and I felt like not exactly uh, gorgeous all my pregnancy. So it felt really, really nice because I felt kind of full and ripe and, you know, very just, you know, full of life and, and, and it felt good because I didn't, I didn't know. I was a little hesitant to even get the photographs taken. So I'm going to just do this the old fashioned way and I'm going to move this and I'm going to just put, whoops, it's close. Um, so there's one of the photos and let's see, let's see if I can get another one queued up to show you. see what's a good one there's a lot of good ones I mean my husband just he really has a knack for photographs I'm so sorry I should have queued these up before I opened them up to show you but oh wait there's one coming up that I really was happy with. This one is another one. Let's see. I think that one came out pretty nice. You can see that. It's my fa I mean my face isn't in it, but you can maybe get an idea. And I don't know, I'll show one more with the full-on belly, if I can get one. There's that one. So, I feel like really good about those photos. I was surprised because I didn't know if I would, but I feel good. I feel like my husband did such a great job and I feel like I look like myself and it's, you know, I, I definitely, you can see that I'm a, a bit of a chunkier me, but I still feel good. I still feel like they came out good. Okay, let me give you a bump shot now. I'm going to try to find, um, bear with me, some good light. This is like all backlit. Try this. Again, bear with me. Kind of gorilla style here. So, let's get a 
good shot of my bump. Do do do. Do do do. Who? Let's see. A little bit high, but basically, there's my tattoo. You can see that's my bump, and it was kind of up around here before, so it seems like I have dropped a little bit, or he has dropped a little bit. Not a tremendous amount, but enough for me to notice a difference. It just feels a little softer here, and a little bit like he dropped, so I feel very, very good about that. So, that is my 37 week full term baby update. I will do some stuff this week. I really want to do our whole, how our, you know, how our baby came to fruition story and perhaps some other things as well, some other cool things that I could maybe do. But I'm really excited. 37 weeks and, um, we're getting close. We're getting close. He could, I mean, he could come at any time. He could come tomorrow. He could come tonight if he was ready and he'd be full term baby. So, thank you. Bye.